overview of paragraph block and how to use it paragraph block is basically the ba most basic but most important block in Gutenberg or oh, uh, as obviously whenever you need to type something you need to um, get most probably the paragraph block first so how to add the paragraph block uh, basically there are a couple of ways you can add a paragraph block to your Gutenberg editor page or a post the first way is to add a block using this plus icon which appears underneath and on top of each Gutenberg block or you can also click here to add the paragraph block so you, this way you can add a paragraph block like this I'll just remove it or you can simply hit enter uh, by the end of any um, already placed content on your page so this is way and just start typing uh, when you hit enter uh, the the default block comes out comes added to the Gutenberg editor is the paragraph block itself so you can just start writing uh, once it's been added so now next let's understand the paragraph block toolbar controls each block in Gutenberg has two kind of controls the first one is this control which appears on block top like this this is called block control and the other other control is hidden in the side panel under block tab make sure you are on the block tab and there are some controls out there for each block so paragraph control so the main the first block control toolbar in paragraph block has these options or these controls for you let's understand what all this this is divided into three parts the first one is the transform uh, control these three are alignment controls and these four are formatting controls so let's look into each one the transform controls the transform option basically is available in most of the Gutenberg blocks at least the default blocks many default blocks have this option whenever you see this option this means you can transform this block or its content into another and that uh, block like uh, this is a paragraph block now if I click on this I have these options available here this block can be transformed into headline code list preformatted words so let's try to transform it into headline block for example when you click on this you'll notice that this block and its content is transformed into the headline block so now this content is a headline you can switch to headline levels and um, make your changes and similarly you can transform it back to the paragraph block this way you can transform if suppose if you write this if you wrote some text and you realize that this should be a code and not a paragraph so you just need to you don't need to take a paragraph code block separately and then copy this content and paste it into the code block all you need to do is just click on this and click on code block and done this is done for you the the content is transformed and you can add some extra stuff and if that block has some settings you need to do you'll also see that this toolbar has changed for this particular because this block is now transformed into a code block I'll just transform it back to the paragraph so we have these options to transform for the paragraph block right now and now the second part of the toolbar which is the alignment options this is really simple you must be familiar with this already it just uh, may allows you to align the content just click on block and align the content the way you need and the next one is formatting option the formatting options we have we got four controls they are b for bold i for italic and this one is to strike through a strike through effect and this one is to link simply just click on this click on b and it will make the text the selected text bold and so click here and uh, if i click on this word simply and click on 
italic it will make this word italic and if you need to if you need to select more content you can do that as well and if you need to link uh, some text you can link it as well just paste the URL here and click on this icon next uh, let's have a look at the inspector controls the sidebar controls so the paragraph block has some sidebar control with these panels each sidebar control every block has uh, almost many blocks will have these controls at the sidebar under the block tab and in the paragraph block we got four panels which contains uh, some options some controls so let's look into each one so the first one is the text setting control the sec set panel the text setting panel is basically uh, allow you to give you two options one is for the drop cap if you toggle this on you'll see that uh, first letter of your paragraph is uh, set as a drop cap and the second option here is the allow you to change the font size of your paragraph text so it's simple just hit just move the slider or you can write the uh, number of pixels here and if you are not happy you want to reset you can just click on this reset link here or the option here uh, let's uh, look into the next panel which is the background panel the background panel has a nice color plate here color palette to uh, where you can choose a color for your background uh, for, for this paragraph um, I'll select this one this one or you can choose any layout any color sorry and one thing you need to notice is if you select a background color which is uh, which makes the text color text to hard to read uh, there is a nice little um, error notice um, notify to notify you that this color combination may be hard for people to read so you may uh, adjust uh, up to a better color for your background so that the text on top of the background is much readable is easily readable sorry so and this last uh, icon in the color palette is basically to allow you to set a custom color beside these defined colors so if you select this and adjust the color shade and you can choose any color you want quite this is pretty clear and similar to the other setting this is also having a clear link here which will reset it to default so I'll just make it clear so this is the background color panel now next is the text color panel so text color panel similar to background color, color panel has a nice color plate with the predefined colors and you can obviously select a custom color so and let's try some sorry let's click on here first and text color and if I select this one you'll see this notice again because the background of the page is white and I've chosen this color which is close to white and therefore it is not readable and Gutenberg editor uh, warns you about this so you better select a color which is readable all right and I will uh, we can also clear this way now the next option is block alignment this uh, basically is different from from the text alignment controls here which aligns the text within the which aligns the content within this block like this but block alignment is different block alignment allow, uh, will align the block I don't see this currently working perfect not but it will it should or I'm missing something in the future next you have uh, this text box here to add any additional class you can add any class like my custom class or any any class you can add here 
and if you need to add some CSS class and pass some values to your CSS file or your custom CSS via your custom CSS code you can pass a class to this blog so each blog basically in Gutenberg have this option this is not specific to uh, paragraph block only so these are the options in the paragraph block uh, sidebar control and these are the options for the toolbar control block toolbar this is pretty nice uh, block and the most important block obviously the Gutenberg editor is definitely in development phase right now and this post this post this video may uh, may need updated when the new changes comes out for this blog i'll make sure to update it as soon as i can thank you thanks for watching